I am almost certain that you've heard of broken heart syndrome, but what is it exactly? Well, on this Valentine's Day, a cardiologist is here to explain the heart condition that's often brought on by extreme emotion. And joining me right now to talk about is Dr. Thomas Schleter with Ascension St. Vincent, because a lot of people think that broken heart syndrome is just a myth or something that we talk about when our heart's really hurting or maybe we're feeling you know, something after a loved one is sure. maybe passed or we've gotten broken up with. Is it a real thing? It is a real thing. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for having yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. But it is a real thing. It, it's a syndrome that's poorly understood that mimics a heart attack. The okay. signs and symptoms are identical. Chest pain, trouble breathing, feeling very poorly, feeling run down and tired, almost passing out can mm. be a symptom as well. The blood work, the tests we do mimic a heart attack as well. And so we frequently test people for having a heart attack and find out they're not having a heart attack. Okay, so what is the difference? How do you then, if it mimics it, yeah. what is that key? They have to come to the hospital to know if it is or not? Well, they're feeling poorly, so they usually do yeah. come to the hospital, right? They're feeling bad. They come to the hospital. We do the tests that, that tell us whether they're having a heart attack. So we look for blocked arteries, which, mm. which is what a heart attack is. And we find no blocked arteries. Okay. And we find other parts of their heart aren't squeezing the right way. They're, they're, they're not working in a very typical way with this syndrome. Do you see that? Do you actually see it very often in Indiana? We're, we have a huge practice in mm -hmm. Indiana. So a practice as big as ours is Ascension. We see a couple cases a week. Yeah, it sounds like something to me that I know a lot of people that suffer from, you know, panic disorder, having anxiety, yeah. and they feel like they're having a heart attack sometimes yeah. too. Is it kind of similar to that feeling sometimes or so is it really different? In it's how it different. It's different that feeling. Now that feeling you just mentioned yeah. is a very important thing that should be checked out as well. Yeah. It's also important to remember that this doesn't have to be triggered by an emotional stress. Sometimes mm -hmm. it is, okay. but sometimes it, it isn't. But you're right that if someone is feeling those symptoms, mm -hmm. whether they think it's a panic attack or not yeah. sure, that's why our hospitals are open 24 hours a day so we can Come help in. them get through that. We hear this a lot of times when it is, you know, feels like anyway, um, an older couple where um, you know, someone who's been married for a long time and then one dies and then a few days later and they're like oh it was broken heart yeah. syndrome is that do you see that in those cases where or do is that maybe it, it certainly can be related to this and yeah. and and that's harder to know yeah uh, because i don't know that we always know that but we certainly yeah. see that's a very common thing of someone spending their yeah. lives together and, and passing within a short period of time from one yeah. another who's more susceptible men or women or women do, are more susceptible do we know why uh we don't uh, and we're trying to figure out why, but it's it's certainly more prevalent and slightly more prevalent in women than men. Okay, so how is it treated? It's a great question. So we diagnose this yeah. to make sure you're not having a heart attack, okay. and then we do whatever we need to do to support you. Mm -hmm. We usually put you on medications to make sure your heart stays strong or becomes yeah. stronger, and usually within four to six weeks, everybody's recovered and back to normal. That's, it's ins I mean, it really is an interesting phenomenon. It is there anything is. else that I wouldn't know to ask you that our viewers that are watching right now well, would I be think I think Ask it's the doctor this. Yeah, I think it's a great question, and I think one of those things are how do you know? How mm -hmm. do you know? How do you know this is a panic attack, or how do you know this is it? I, that's why we always want to be careful. Yeah. If you're having chest pain, if you're feeling poorly, if you're having trouble breathing, seek medical attention. And that's why the biggest thing is have a relationship with a healthcare professional. Mm -hmm. So when there's a change, you have someone you can call right away and let them know. Well, anytime I meet a cardiologist um, or a doctor that does what you do, I always say thank you because my father had the Widowmaker. Oh no. And. He was helped. He lived. He, hey. So I always say thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. What you do is amazing. We're, we're blessed to so, be in such a great field. So yeah. much so much advancement have, has yeah. come around in cardiology, and, and you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. We have a lot of things coming okay. forward. Okay, excellent. Yep. We love to hear that. Yep. So if you do have heart concerns, you can schedule an appointment with Dr. Schleter or another cardiologist Absolutely. at Ascension. Look, I mean, I want to go see him. We'll connect you at fox59.com slash links. I'll make you feel better and make you know what's going on with your heart. Fantastic. Good to see you. Jim.